Hello everyone. Something a little extra. It's a little extra from me. Um, I've been looking at a lot of vloggers doing uh, favourites. So August favourites. Now I've been thinking some time about doing a favourites haul and end of August I thought yeah I'm going to do that. We're now, is it the 9th or 10th of August so I don't know when you're going to get to see this but I just on a whim thought I'm going to do it. So I'm doing it today. Um, I want to start adding in some extra films so this is what I've come up with. Um, there's always lots of things that I don't get to share with you uh, in a weekly vlog or um, you know I do a lot of hauls, fashion hauls and I feel like you're missing out on things you know I'll be using something, a cream or makeup and I think oh I love this I need to tell my viewers about this and I don't get to do that as often as I'd like to that was one of the reasons why I decided to do this favourites thing and I've already just noticed that one of my favourites is missing because it's in the bathroom so I'm just going to go and get that now right I'm back with those so anyway let's crack on and let me tell you about the favourites of the last month and a little bit um, I'm going to start off with these, the June uh, Loopy sandals. I, I, I've I, just not stopped wearing these. I, I mean, I know we're not going to be wearing them much now, obviously. I still wear them a lot around the house, though. In the heat, and they, they, they are just so comfortable. Look, they're, they're literally like wearing nothing. Now these June slides, I think on the June site, they're around about £90. I have spoke about this before. Um, you can find odd colours on Amazon and I'll link them below and I think they're about £40. Honestly, if you can get them at £30-£40, they are worth every penny of that, every penny. I have worn them literally every day in that heat and I will continue to wear these um, I'm hoping they'll last into next year that I've literally worn the sole out there the footbed um, but yeah these have been absolutely brilliant I will definitely buy more of these I, w I would pay £90 for another pair of these because I've enjoyed them so much I think um, before I've thought about buying them and they don't seem a lot for 90 pounds but now I get it I do get it because they have been my savior through the summer definitely right next um, I had some hair care from look fabulous forever you know it's one of my favorite skincare and makeup brands and they've just launched um, shampoo conditioner and boot roost spray now this is quite new to me I've only used this in the last month but I've only used the shampoo and I absolutely love it I would definitely recommend it uh, if you're a regular here you will know I'm always harping on about shampoos that leave your hair lackluster it will look great on the day um, and then the next day your hair's just gone limp and it's like it's got texture on it this is absolutely brilliant I've not had that with this it's just like a it's not it's it has got a perfume to it but it's like just a good shampoo with not too much stuff in it let's have a look And it's really worked for me. No, it doesn't say that there's anything special about it. 
it does too, the ingredients. But I love it. It's the first time a shampoo has impressed me like this for some time. So, yeah. Um, I will be trying the Root Boost Spray. And I will be trying the conditioner. I'm not a lover of conditioner for the reason that it makes my hair too soft and I end up looking like I've got half the hair that I, half the amount of hair that I've got. But I will give it a try and uh, give you some feedback. But this shampoo is definitely worth looking at. Very impressed with that. Um, I love the look fabulous for every brand anyway. As you, as you know, I've done a full makeup with Look Fabulous Forever. I use it all the time. Actually, getting on to that, this would be my next love of the month. Um, now, I've got a nude lip on today. I just have to check in the mirror there. Yes, I have got a nude lip on. But I've been wearing something a little bit brighter. I don't know if you can see that colour. And this is True Coral. This is a, it's a really nice pinky shade. I don't normally go for bright colours at all. But I've really enjoyed wearing this one. Um, and you, you know, if you've seen any of the weekly vlogs, you would have seen me using this and saying how much I enjoyed wearing a bit more colour. I just thought it was lovely when it was really sunny and, uh, you know, we've got our summer attire on really really nice this is a, uh, an all day lasting lipstick as well from look fabulous forever i've got loads of their colors i've got the nudes and i had this in the drawer and i came across it and i thought i'm going to try that and i've used it nearly every day since so very pleased with that as well um beauty pie and some of my beauty pie. I've just used it so it's over there. I'm just going to get that. I don't know how many of you saw me do the unboxing for beauty pie but um, I've just uh, I've been using the vi vitamin C serum in the mornings. I've just started using that and um, I, I like it so far but these I've used every day and I love them and so that's why I wanted to tell you about them. Um, the under eye concealer, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It's just a cream, it's quite a thick cream in a pot. Um, what I did to start with was I overused it greatly. You need, uh, I got the um, brush as well from Beauty Pie, this is their concealer brush and you literally just have to dab it and that is enough that will do more or less both eyes I don't know if you can see that on there um, and it's a really nice under eye brightener um, the brush is absolutely amazing let me get up and show you that because it's a really thick, dense brush and it it's angled as well and the, the application is just so easy and this is just wonderful stuff. It works absolutely brilliant. I've been using it on my top and my bottom of my eyes to just give a little bit of light there on those darker shaded areas and it's been amazing. I um, I know at the moment Beauty Pie have got a tr free trial. So you join up to the free trial and then you can get all the items really cheap. I think this is £12. £12. And I think this was something like £7 or £10. And their brushes, if all their brushes are like this, I, I want them all. Because I am so impressed. With this brush um, and I am hoping that I'll be getting more I'll be getting more beauty pie in definitely um, yeah very very impressed yeah so beauty pie is um, a subscription so you'll order you'll join the subscription I think it's 
60 pounds for the year something like that but then you will get all these creams and makeups there's so much stuff on there i'm looking at body body creams at the moment candles there's just so much stuff on there and it's really really good quality stuff and it's 10 pound seven pound and you know you pay the the 60 pound subscription and then you will save all that money i was really dubious at first about beauty pie i would say you know if it's only costing 10 pound uh what's the cream going to be like what's it going to be like what's, what's the quality what what are the ingredients and i've looked and trust me i'm very very impressed so do take a look at beauty pie this was the other thing that I liked. Featherlight UVA UVB SPF 50. I use this all through those hot days. And what I like about this is it's just like a milk. I've used a lot of SPF 50s in my time. There's a couple of others that I like, but this is the lightest I've ever come across for my face. It's just like watery milk um and i was very very impressed with that and it just you just don't know that you've got anything on i just think a lot of spfs can feel really heavy and there's just no trace of it once you've got it on so absolutely love that from beauty pie i like their packaging as well i think it's all done so well right next i've done that slippers <laughs> now if you've watched me on the weekly vlogs you will know that whenever i walk bow i'm normally in these they have been absolutely brilliant from mashulu uh, i unboxed these on the channel a while back uh you know in long grass in the heat i didn't want to wear um sandals you know open toes i'm just a bit funny i get nap bites and so i have worn these to the death uh when it's not been too hot they are so comfortable and you know they've got a good rubber sole on them and uh i, I like that they just look like a little ballet shoe um and you can get away with running to the supermarket in these i have many a time you know the leggings and the t-shirt i'm just popping out for some milk throw these on and i'm done and no one would know and they look actually look quite smart on so yeah from mashulu absolutely over the moon with these i know they come in a lot of different colors so do check those out so so comfortable as well i'm gonna these need to get thrown in the machine i think now they're in need of a good clean right i've got a couple more items my joan collins uh timeless beauty was her brand the palette so i've not actually delved into the palette yet i'm still using the old one uh but as i said i lost the tweezers out of it and boy am i happy to have these little buggers back in my life because they are the best tweezers I've ever come across and that was the only reason why I bought this palette again because I've got the other palette in the drawer and I've had it for about four years I use it mainly for the eyebrows you've got an eyebrow wax there you've got a highlighter there and the brown is what I use for my eyebrows and then you've got a dark one there that you can use for eyeliner so you get a little spoolie in there and you get a double-ended brush as well and i'm so impressed with this palette and i was gutted when i lost the tweezers and i was browsing on amazon and there it was and I, that was it it was in my basket and what a lovely compact look that's uh, so cloakroom worthy to go out with as well so i'm very happy to have that back in my life um 
the necklace from Majuri, I would say I have worn this a lot. I love the simplicity of it. This is 18 karat gold for me, I'm pretty sure. You've got a chain on there. That it's like a two, two chains that goes on your neck and then you've got that ring. I don't know if you can see that on there. Let's do that. And it's just a really beautiful, timeless piece. Actually, I'm going to put this on and then you can see it. But I've worn it nearly every day since uh, since I've had it. I just love that it's timeless, classic, and it goes with anything. There you go. It's just such a timeless, elegant piece. Really, really lovely. Very, very pleased with that. It's just gone with everything. I've just reached for it literally every day but it's not on the longest one no it's not you've still got a good inch and a half there if you like your chains longer but it's just ended up there really beautiful um yeah so that's from Majuri now <laughs> this cream what can I say about this cream? This was sent to me as a PR gift. The Dream Mask by Mantle. And uh, I have so many creams that I'm trialling. Uh, you can only do so much at a time. And I looked at this and I thought, mm, Dream Mask, I'm going to put that on tonight. You know, I don't suppose you need to use it every night. You could, I guess. And have you ever put a cream on your face and then got up in the morning and had to double take and think, wow, that stuff that I put on last night is good. And that is what's happened to me with this uh, mantle. I'd, I showed Dee actually this morning. I put some of, I know it's only supposed to go on at night, but I knew I was going to talk about this today. And I thought, I'm going to put some on. I love it that much. And it feels really gloopy. I'm going to show you what it, what it looks like in the pot. It's really, look, quite a heavy, sticky cream. But, put this on your skin. And it, ugh, my face is like a straw. It's just, it just sucks it up within a couple of minutes I you know it's amazing stuff I absolutely love it the, I've each night that I've put this on I've looked in the mirror purposely the next morning to see if it's done as good as the first time that I use it because I look and I think wow that makes a difference and you know there's so many creams on the market isn't there some you think yeah that's good that's doing a good job but there's not many creams that I put on my face and think wow that stuff is amazing and just as I sat down here to talk about this before I started filming I thought I better see what's in this cream it smells like lemon it smells beautiful but I've just read on the box uh, let me put the glasses on it's got is it bok choy and I find that anything with bok choy in really agrees with my skin well but then I read it's got cannabis set, sativ, sativa leaf extract and you know I was only talking to someone the other day that had tried a cream with the CBD oil and um, they, Susie, my friend Susie, she runs a blog and a blog, The Grey Brunette, and she's talking about CBD. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna have a look into that because a lot of people are saying how good it is. Um, and blow me, this has got cannabis extract in it and I'm 
sorry, camera cut out there. But yeah, um, as soon as my as soon as I've finished the serum that I'm trialing at the moment, I'm going to be putting this on my face in the mornings. But this stuff, oh my goodness, it. Go get it, ladies. Go get it. I think I'm going to start putting this on every night and see how we go. I will keep you updated, but so far from what I've seen, that is a little miracle in a jar. Right, I think that's it. The only other thing that I could think of favourite wise that I really wanted to mention was the Vogue edits on YouTube. Um, I've watched uh, Carrie, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker talking about all her outfits from Sex and the City and I really enjoyed that. She told stories about how the outfits were found, you know, why they use those outfits. I just found it really interesting. And yesterday I watched one about Kate Moss and it was all about special photos of Kate Moss and she's sitting at a desk and she's explaining about what the photo was for and why why the campaign was being held, who it was with. I just find them really interesting. So I'm gonna leave a link up there to that as well because I think you ladies might enjoy that. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's me done now. It was nice to do that little extra. I'm glad, you know, otherwise you might not have got to see all of these things. And uh, like I said, I often, I'm using these bits and I think I really must tell my audience about this. And then it just goes out the window and I never get to tell you. Let me know if you want me to carry on doing these monthly favourites. Please let me know. If you don't like it, let me know and then I'll know what to do. Thank you for watching. Please leave the film a good thumbs up. I would love that. And if you're new here, my name's Laurie, by the way, please subscribe. It'd be nice to have you back. I'll see you in the next one.